How we doing, YouTube? This is Manny Jones. Hopefully, you're having a great day wherever you may be. Last time in the Carrie Earnhardt career mode, we got our first top five in a caution-filled race at Sonoma. Rookie Craven won that race on a last lap pass. And then in the race at Daytona, we got an eighth place finish. So we have three top tens, one top five. Mikey Waltrip won that race. Hit the first one for DEI this season. We've got an engine shop upgrade coming up, so that's fantastic. We're starting to get the momentum on our side. I'm very happy about that. And now we have Chicago land next, the Tropicana 400. And, you know, things are starting to look up for us. We're get, we got two good finishes, qualify on the pole at uh, Sonoma too, so not sure we'll do at Chicagoland, but uh, let's see what happens. As for your points, Tony Stewart just continues to be dominant this season. Uh, he leads the points, followed by Dale Jr. in second, and third is Kevin Harvick, fourth is Dale Jarrett, fifth is Mark Martin, sixth Jeff Burton, who has not won a race, but... He's had it solid finishes this season. Uh, Ryan Newman is 7th. 8th is Jimmy Johnson. 9th, Sterling Marlin. 10th is Bobby Labonte. Matt Kenseth is 11th. Ricky Rudd, 12th. 13th is Rusty Wallace. 14th, Jeff Gordon. 15th, Michael Waltrip, who again, has the only winning driver for DEI this season. <laughs> I, I know Junior's going to win a race sometime, but damn. Uh, behind him is Kurt Busch, Bill Elliott, Johnny Benson, Ricky Craven, who mentioned won a race earlier. He's 19th in points, so he's he's not doing too bad right now. I wonder what those aliens did to him, though. That's what I'm talking about, Carrier and Hart. Make your moves, baby. The 32 car has uh, 20th is Jamie McMurray. 21st, Jeff Green. 22nd, Elliot Sadler. 23rd, Jeremy Mayfield. 24th, Ward Burton. 25th, Terry Labonte. 26th, Kenny Wallace. And here is Kerry Earnhardt. All the way back in 27th in points. We're starting to creep up on Kenny Wallace. And the other guys up there were about... I do the math in my head. Let me ask my phone real quick. Hold on. 15... 1,517 minus 1,434. That's did actually this thing wrong. What the hell? 1,517 minus 1,434. Well, thank you, Siri. 83 points behind. Hey, 83 points behind. Let's go. Uh, Kenny Wallace for 26th place in points behind us. Jerry Nadu. We're starting to really edge away from him. Uh, Robbie Gordon, Steve Park, Joe Nemechek, Strack Sprague. Kyle Petty, Brett Bodine, Greg Biffle led his first top 10 of the year at Sonoma. Kenny Schrader, Hermie Sadler, Christian Fittipaldi, Casey Mears, Kevin LaPage, Mike Skinner, Stanton Barrett, Chase Montgomery, Ashton Lewis, Kevin Grubb, David Green. And that is your points for rookie of the, rate of the year. We are behind Jamie McMurray still. He's all the way up 20th in points, so... We're starting to catch up to Jeremy McMurray. If we can stay consistent, you know, I think we'll we'll get to him. I think we will. That's the pull award. We are tied with Mark Martin with two pulls on the year. But that was Stewart with four and Jeff Ford with five pulls. Junior with one pull. Harvard with one. Johnson with one. And Rusty with one as well. The Manufacturer Championship is Chevy's right now in the lead. Followed by Ford, Dodge, and Pontiac. Tony Stewart has led the most laps by a good bit. Junior, Jeff Gordon, Mark Martin, Rusty Wallace, Dale Jarrett, Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Petty, Ryan Newman, Ricky Rudd, Kenny Wallace. Here's us with seven laps led on the year. Hopefully that will turn into more as we go forward. But Chicago land. Let's see how we do at the Tropicana 400. All right, let's qualify at Chicago Land. I put down a solid time, actually. Else I think I did at 35.75 in practice. Uh, with some help from Brett Bodine, I was drafting behind him, and I got got a good lap down. I'm not sure how good of a lap we'll put down without 
the draft, but we shall see. That's not what I wanted. It went a little bit too high in that turn. Let's come on down. Try not, gotta, 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 gotta not go so high, Carrie. Because that lap sucked. Better. Much better, Carrie. Much better. I like that. Don't hit the wall, please. Yes, that's a better lap. This is going to be a better lap. We won't qualify that good, I don't think. Maybe we're about to find out. 25th or close? Not the best lap we've run, but we're in the show. 26th! Hey, there we go. We're somewhat close to 25th. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. So at least we're getting a whole lot more consistent with our uh, qualifying times. I believe we rolled off around that position for the Daytona the Daytona race, the Pepsi 400, and we rolled off pole at Sonoma, so we're starting to get consistent. That's just what I need. Let's go. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series comes to Illinois this week for today's race, the Tropicana 400 at the Chicago Land Speedway. Barney, we're still kind of new to this place. What do you think so far? This speedway is a one and a half mile trial with a wide racing surface and decent banking. That will keep the speeds up and the action very exciting. How about the consistency shown by Tony Stewart? Well, that's right, and I think he will have an excellent run in this one as well. I spoke to the crew chief this morning, and he assured me that they have a very fast hot rod. The Sears Craftsman car needs a good showing to break the string of bad finishes he's had at the speedways this year. And a good finish would go a long way in boosting that team's morale. I guarantee it would make a whole lot easier to come to these racetracks. Mike Skinner looks to turn his luck around in this race. And trust me, it hasn't been for the lack of effort. Those guys have been working hard all season. Maybe they can right the ship with a good finish here. Bobby Labonte rolls off first, followed by Ryan Newman. I see Dale Jr. and Bill Elliott, too, so... We're all 26th. I'm not sure how we'll finish, but... Uh, let's put something good together. What's up, Mikey Waltrip? Okay. I'm sorry, Ward. Ward. I'm sorry. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Oh, I forgot that Apollo's a rival from the, from the uh, Sonoma race. Try to take me out and then, oh my god, set the rest of the field back quite a bit. Going for revenge on the first lap. That's gutsy, but as you can see, it didn't really work out. Alright, it's fine. Let's, tr let's try and keep ourselves in the top 30. I want to try and get the top to the 25th. That's the goal. That is the goal every race, really. 25th. Or better. That'll help us out in the... Okay, accelerate too much. Need to let, need to let go, need to let go more. Fuck. Okay, clear. Need to not try and do that. That's for damn sure. What's up, Mike Skinner? Uh, everybody else is catching up to me. Fantastic. All right, come on. It's okay. It's, it's early. It's only in. It's early in the race still. We can okay, to put something good together. Really solid going. Oh, please don't lose the car. Good. Good. I see Jamie Mack and Terry Labonte. Number 42 is coming low. There we go. Come on. Yes. Stay down there, Terry. There we go. Good. 30.95. I like that lap. Oh, hello, Terry. I just want to stay consistent, you know, try and get around that time again. 3095 is not bad. Hello, bye. Hello, to your neck. Let's go, come on. Good. Good corner, good corner, good corner. Nice run. That's what I'm talking about. Not sure that it's trying to catch up to. Is that Ashton Lewis? Yeah, it is. Starting to get up to him. That's good. 
is very good. Oh! He didn't tell me he was coming under there, dude. He said car high, not car low. Oh my god. These darn crew chief spotter. It's up hat. Go down low. He didn't tell me the bumper's low. Oh my god. Idiots! There we go. Clear Bobby. I see Jeff Green trying to make a pass on Jerry Nadu down there. Trying to get to that 46 car of Ashton Lewis. There we go, come on. A little too high in this turn. So I'm gonna probably lose the spot. And there's the five. And there's Jeff Green. Oh, I got a little bent out of shape there. Fuck. Alright, it's off fine, it's off fine. What's up, Nadu? Tire starting to wear down. All right, Jerry. We're trying to drive with you, buddy. There we go. There we go. Come on. Good. Good. Now there's Ashley Lewis. You should be able to pass him. As he's up, up, stuck up on the outside. Controller vibrating again. I hate that when my controller does that, just from random, just some little incidental contact. It just it just starts to vibrate so strong. It doesn't stop too. I, I don't know why it does that. I, I wish I had an answer, but it I don't know. Okay, good, go easy in the turn. Yes, we got a little edge there on Nadu. Trying to get under the O1 car. All right, we should be able to get past him. I think in this on this turn, get by side by side with him, maybe. We should be about halfway off field. Let's see, right. he's up high though, so we should be got a good chance for a run here. Yes, thirty first. That's good. That's very good. All right, Jeff Green, you're next. You haven't got much longer on that left front tire. Play nice. Gary Earnhardt's becoming the Goldberg of. of, of of a NASCAR. I can imagine it now, you know, Carrie comes out, driver intros, you know, there's sparks everywhere, like Goldberg's intro, and you're Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. Oh, I'm talking about that. I messed up the turn there. Fucking fantastic. Just picture it there, guys, you know? Carrie Earnhardt coming down to a race, and you're. Da -da. <laughs> Listen, if they did that, you NASCAR would have bigger crowds, man. Totally, NASCAR would have like the hugest crowds ever. If they did that to Carrie Earnhardt, <laughs> Carrie, Carrie, pitting here on lap ten, the first sort of green flag pit stop. Junior is the leader. He's got a, oh, he's got a great lead. Could be a chance for his first win. He was always pretty solid at Chicagoland. So this is a track I could definitely see him winning at. Maybe he might give us a pass right here. And yeah, he will. He's going to get that inside on us. Let him go. 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 It's all good. All right. A little, a little too high. No break there. Don't want to hit the wall. Maybe he's pitting. I think some others went down pit road as well. Not sure when to pit. Coming up on cars, figure that out. Looks like some of the leaders are right. down pit road. Some leaders are pitting. Not Junior though. Junior ain't Take pitting yet. Some are pitting. I'll try staying out just a little bit. There we go. Thankfully, no, we're not damaged too much. We don't have to worry about repairing the damage. We should just have a solid pit stop. We can, you know, execute a nice four-tire stop correctly. When I have any mistakes, we'll be okay. Be okay. Yeah, we'll be fine. What's up, Joe Nemechek? What's up, Joe? All right, we're not doing that bad at this race, you know. We're not doing that bad. Twenty-five cars coming up quick. Got one outside. Good corner. Good corner. Oh, hello, Joe. Did say he was coming outside, so it should be surprised. What's up, Joe? I'll let you, I'll let you go, bro. Okay, we're I'll let you go. That was a halfway mark. Alright. 
I'm gonna bring it in on this this lap. I'm gonna bring it in on this lap for four tires and fuel. See Craven trying to get by. He does have the fresher tire, so he is whoa much faster. Alright, I am gonna pit uh, right here. Get down. The pit road speed carry. Yes. We drop back a spot. Let's play. All right. Just no, no even repairing damage. We don't have much damage to begin with. We are Gucci. We're Gucci. Let's go. Let's hope for a good stop here. I know we can do it. I know we can do it. All right. I know we can. No mistakes, guys. No mistakes. Good on the right sides. Get on the left sides. Oh, good, good, good. All right, good stop, guys. So we come out somewhere decent, and we're in. The, we're pretty far back. Oh! I almost looked page. I pretty much looked page. Jeremy Nate Mayfield there. Oh God. All right, we're on 37. It's fine. No, I'm, I'm not letting you get by me, Jeremy. Hell no. All right, let's hope for a good. Maybe when we when they, when they cycle out, we'll be up a little bit closer to the top to the top 30 at least. All right, we got our lap back. We got our lap back. That's fantastic. So we got the lap back. Back on the lead lap. We got a fair bit of ways to go before. We uh, can get to anybody, but let's see again. Where we cycle out at? Once we get by everybody, come on. Good job, Gary. That's a good corner. That's a very good corner. I love it. Just ten laps left. All right, three seconds behind in front of behind the O2. Got past the 46. Not bad, eh? 34th. Okay. Moving on up. Hello, Jeff Green. Bye. 33rd, okay. Not the best spot, but it's not too bad. Better than last place, you know, better than last. And hey, one lead lap, you know. That's also, a, that's always a plus. All right, three seconds behind Kyle Petty. I'm gonna see if I can catch up to him, possibly. We got time to do it. He just got out the good. Wow! Oh! a little bit close there for my comfort carry. Good. I'll admit, Jeremy Mayfield back there is really giving us a challenge. I like that. He's getting nice runs off of, off the turn, so I am like he's giving us a nice little challenge, you know. Coming up high. No, sir. Don't you dare pass on the high side. There we go. I'm liking that, I'm liking that. I'm gonna try and go low here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No sir, no sir, no sir. All right, just gonna go for the bottom, gonna go up high again. This is, this, this, this is a fun little challenge, a fun little oh, race. Oh, no sir. Thought I had a little edge there. Oh no, you didn't, good sir. Oh no, you didn't. Good. Solid corner, solid corner. I'm liking it. I feel like I'm starting to get better at this somewhat, you know? Not trying to aggressively go into turns with, like, too much. You know, e I'm easing my way to the turns. I'm accelerating when I need to. I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of this, you know? Which I'm happy for, honestly. I'm happy that I'm finally getting the hang of just, you know, just running it slowly. You know, let it ease into the turn. You know, don't break so hard that you'll lose control of it in the turn. Great that you have enough, you have enough speed to get through it. And you're not gonna like lose control of it. I'm happy with that. Not happy with our current running position right now. But we can just keep it going. We might be able to eke out a top 30. Jeff Greens, you see now behind us, he's got past Jeremy Mayfield, and Mayfield's starting to lose um, time to us. We're edging up now on Casey Mears and Kyle Petty. Jeff Green might get us here. Guys, oh, no. No. No, sir. No, sir. You ain't getting by me. No, 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 no. 
might get by me here, actually. I messed that turn. You're halfway on fuel. Come on. I know we can get to Casey. I know we get to Casey Mears. I know we can. I know we get to Casey Mears. Just about a second behind Casey. Gonna execute well in these corners. We're gonna get me here. Yeah, I'm gonna get me here. On that left front tire. The one car yeah, he's got left. the edge. I'm gonna let him go. Still there. Careful. Everything okay with the car? Okay, we're clear. Let me draft with Jeff for a little bit. Maybe that'll help us out. It's like Casey got by Kyle. Kyle's gonna try a move to get by Casey Mears again. Looks like he will. He's side by side going into turns one and two. Come on. Let's stick with Jeff Green, man. The draft's gonna help us. The draft we're getting is gonna, is gonna help us out a lot. Casey, coming for you, Casey. I'm coming for you, Casey. A little contact, a little contact. Oh yeah, could get by Jeff Green here too. We got the inside. Oh, we hit him. And that'll get us 31st. We're gonna get by Kyle too. Oh yes. Hold on to it, Kerry. Leaders take the white flag. We will as we come to the line here. Ken Schrader, we're catching up to him. We got a great run off that 49 BAM Racing Dodge. Oh yeah, come on. I'm gonna get you, Kenny. Still beside you. Yes, 30th. We might not be able to stick it. Oh, let's go. Woo. We're on the outside, side by side with Schrader. Jeff Green hits us. Oh, and I'm off at the bottom of the racetrack. Let's go. All right, come on. 31st, we're going to finish. I wonder who won this race. Let's find out. Oh, look, I'm off the strike 31st. And the winner of the race, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Newman, second, Harvick third, Jarrett fourth, and Mark Martin is fifth. How about that? You know, we talk about Dale Jr. Uh, not winning a race, and now he's finally won one. Let's see how the rest of the race played out. We did get an expectation bonus, so that'll help things out a lot. Not the kind of money I'd want to see coming in, but uh, hey, money's money. The rest of the uh, field, uh, Newman was second. We finished bench in the top five. Jeff Gordon finished sixth. Bobby Levine of the Pole Center finished seventh. Eighth was Tony Stewart. So Junior will get somewhat of an advantage, uh, uh, cut into the points lead. 142 points for Tony Stewart and 185 for Dale Jr. It's not much, but if Jr. can keep finishing ahead of Stewart, he will regain the points lead again. Or will gain the points, I should say. Ricky Rudd was ninth, 10th, Sterling Marlin. Good to rest like the rest of these guys. We do not believe we were the best finishing rookie in the race. And we were not as Jamie McMurray finished 23rd. Okay, we finished 31st. You know, not the best finish, but it's something, it's something at least, you know? It is something at least, and I can be happy with that. This could get some repair. I'll repair this uh, chassis for a not so bad $68,000. This uh, engine's getting overhauled, which should look good for the next race. And then, oh, we got all of our bodies done, so I'm gonna sell this body gave me some extra cash because why not the extra cash and then I say we build ourselves another another chassis I'm oh, sorry body so now we get some good we get we get the good bodies in you know 60 down to 456 drafting and 65 durability so ain't bad whatsoever man once we start getting the engine stuff in and we get the chassis stuff in that's gonna happen next we're currently seven races away from the engine shop upgrade uh, after this, I'm gonna go try and get a chassis upgrade because, as one of my commenters suggested, we really should focus on after this, you know, getting something for that tire upgrade from that tire wherever. We could have the, you know, the better engine and a better body, but we gotta have the chassis that'll be able to handle the tire grip and have better tire wear. Uh, so, that's the goal next. And we shall see what we can do. Craftsman's still okay with us, that's a good thing. <laughs> How much have they given us this season? 
$2.34 million. Meanwhile, Hezbollah has given us $279,000. And uh, NASCAR.com has given us $90,000, $45,000 from Advanced Auto Parts. So, cool. We're getting money. Hopefully, when the conflict expires, either they'll be back on, or we might get a bigger sponsorship. I would like that. I would like that a lot to get ourselves a better sponsorship. But well, we're going to end this video here, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, hit that like button and hit that sub button. We are getting closer and closer to 200 subs. I was going to say real quick, y'all. Um, thank you all if you enjoyed this series on a serious note. Um, I've never had my channel get this much growth in this much time. And you guys are the best. And the fact that you guys love this series, love the channel, love what I do, it means so much to me. So I really appreciate all of you. We have surpassed every single one of my uh, metrics from last year, like in views, in subs, watch hours. So you guys are awesome. I can't thank you guys enough that y'all really enjoy this kind of content. And I'm going to keep this going, man. Uh, I'm not sure how many seasons we'll do, but, you know, I just can't I just can't thank you guys enough for making this series, like, so darn fun. And you guys really enjoy this content, and that just means the, means a lot to me. It means the world that y'all enjoy it. Uh, you want to see me elsewhere, though? I am on Twitter and Instagram, at Manny Jones FM, M-A-N-I Jones FM, so you can find me there. And uh, you can find me on Twitch, too. I am Manny Jones FM there, so I do a lot of college football streams there, so if you like that kind of stuff, go give it a look. Next time in this series, we will check out New England and see what we can do there. I can also put a good qualifying time there, so you never know. We might be on the poll once again. That'll be do it for us. I am Manny Jones. I'm out of here.